This is my other workshop. This is my claim to fame. What are we going to make? Well, we're going to cook up something today. Homemade chamois cream. It works just as well, if not better, than what you buy. And it's a whole lot less expensive. Those are the ingredients we're going to cook with. If it comes right down to it, you don't need all of them. You could make chamois cream just out of shea butter. Look at how hard it is. Okay, you can melt it on your hands so you can spread it on you and that'll work just fine. But you can get a different consistency by adding some of these softer ingredients. Coconut oil. That happens to be Nuru gel, a massage gel. It works just fine, but aloe vera gel. Lanolin oil. Daily moisturize, moisturizing lotion, whatever you got works. This is not so expensive, you can look for it. Anyway, I looked at these ingredients online and came up with costs, found the good buys just by checking Amazon. You can probably buy it cheaply in your local markets as well. Anyway, this is a formula calculating tool I use for consulting for clients. It's been adapted from uh, one I would use to create recipes with and to cost them out. There's the costing calculator there. This is the formula calculator. So the way that works is you just enter in this column whatever ingredient quantities you want so that you can take this formula and if you make it and it's too stiff or too soft for you, you can change these ingredients less of these ingredients more shea butter it's going to be firmer less shea butter or more of these ingredients it's going to be softer and it really doesn't matter it's whatever you like these columns on the spreadsheet actually are highlighted with colors you can't really see it here and these contain calculating formula in it so you wouldn't enter data in here but you can just change the recipe by doing this if you want the spreadsheet you can ask me for it i'll be happy to send it to you and these are optional ingredients down below witch hazel and menthol crystals either of which you can use to give a slightly cooling effect although I wouldn't recommend it for females. And I would be careful with it in any event. Some people don't like it at all. Like for instance, Asos chamois cream. Stuff is crazy expensive. It's about 25 bucks for five ounces of it. Um, this recipe yields seven ounces for $3.70 or if you add these ingredients, the price goes up to 440 for about seven and a half ounces. Anyway, that's the deal. So how do we do this? Melt shea butter over low heat, but don't get it hot. Add the remaining ingredients, whisk together. Now it's an emulsion and it's gonna break when it's warm. So what you do is after you've whisked it together, combine everything, mix it up, let it get cool at room temperature and then stick it in your refrigerator. If you wanna make it go faster, put it in the freezer. You don't want it to get hard. It'll get hard again, cause it's got a lot of that in there. Uh, and it won't be easy to whisk when it's hard. So you just wanna get it semi-firm. Um, so that it's congealed a little bit, but not hard. And then you're gonna pull it out and you're gonna whisk it together again. Okay. And then you can heat it up if you want a second time, just a little bit, if it's got too hard, just a little bit to melt some of it. And then you can whisk it together. Uh, get it to room temp, put it back in the fridge, get it semi hard again, pull it out one more time, whisk it together. By this time it's gonna to be 
fully emulsify and it'll be creamy looking. It'll kind of look like a combination of those two things. Um, and then you just put it in a storage container, whatever you like, uh, hold it at room temp. Now, some people don't like the idea of double dipping, but if you're not sharing, <laughs> I don't see any problem with it. It's like your balls, nobody else's, your ass, nobody else's. Um, but if you're sharing, put it in two containers and give one to your partner. It's as simple as that. Anyway, uh, that's the introduction to this. I'm going to do a little follow-up video actually showing it coming together. Um, by the way, that's for making uh, a substitute for a wax alternate called Squirt. It's a brand name called Squirt that a viewer uh, mentioned to me. And then I was doing some research on that to find out how to make it. Uh, and I'm going to do a video on that. But Durian Rider is passionate about using Squirt. And I'll explain that in the follow-up video. But that's what that's for, Borax. So what do we have? We have aloe vera gel, or in this case, Nuru massage gel. Shea butter. You can use cocoa butter, by the way. Coconut oil or substitute cocoa butter for this. Cocoa butter is cheaper than coconut oil and cheaper than shea butter. Uh, but none of it's horribly expensive. As you see, you can make it for less than four bucks for eight ounces of it. Whatever lotion you have will work. Um, just keep in mind a bunch of different scents going together. Coconut oil tends to smell like coconut. Uh, that doesn't have much of a smell. That doesn't smell. This will have some scent in it. And this is a good brand. It's made in Australia. And you can find this exact brand. And this is cheaper than all the other stuff I've seen. Um, whatever you have works, though. So that's what 100 grams of shea butter looks like. Less than half a cup. Now, this isn't like laboratory work. If it's 100 or 102 or 105 grams, that's okay. Bear in mind, one gram is less than 1 28th of one ounce. So that's why gram scales are useful because they give you smaller increments. I would recommend setting it to grams and doing the grams. Now that's with everything in it. I got 205 grams instead of 200. Like I said, it's no big deal. Now, optional ingredients. I don't have witch hazel, but I do have menthol, and I don't use it much because I've tried it, and uh, it's okay. But uh, if you do use it, you're using a really tiny amount, like that, not much more. I'm going to put some in tiny amount. I recommend 0.5 grams. So you see that it even hadn't even registered 0.5 grams of this. And that's a little bit. So when you use menthol crystals, just do what I did. Just a couple little pieces. Make it. Try it on yourself. If you like it, cool. If you think it's not enough menthol, melt the stuff down and add a pinch more. If it's too much, add more of this stuff and mellow it out. Because this stuff, it's like butter. You can melt it and harden it up again. It's no big deal. So you can, if you don't like the formula, you're not stuck with it. You can fix it. It's not hard. Okay, this... uh is a medium setting and you can already see the shea butter starting to melt you see that puddle moving around in there it doesn't take much heat to melt it's like butter it melts you can see and we don't need it to melt fully we don't want to warm it up too much it doesn't matter if you do but it just takes longer 
to process the stuff if it's warmed up too much. So you can see that if you don't have one of these, use one of these, it's all kind of the same. That's good enough. What do we say when it's close enough? We say it's good enough for government work, and that's no slight against all the hard-working government people, but it's just a country saying from where I come from, good enough for government work, brother. So, it's melted. And that's all you need to do. Now you can see it's not fully emulsified, but it goes in the fridge and uh, it'll get hard pretty quick. There you go. That's all there is to that. So it's been about 20 minutes. You can see it's not fully hard. It's harder in some areas. But that's good. I'm just going to give it a mix. So you can see already it's coming together because it's chilled. fridge now and get it hard again and when I pull it out the second time whisk it up it's done I mean I could probably put it in a jar now but I like to give it a second go that's the finished stuff you can make it softer if you like but heat makes it get soft as well so don't forget about that that's all there is to it if you want that let me know I'll share it 